Johnny Unitas Golden Arm Award. Johnny Unitas is often called the best quarterback to ever play football. The Unitas legacy was cast as a member of the great Baltimore Colts teams of the 50s, 60s, and early 70s. He led that team to three league championships, including the 1958 NFL title, a win over the New York Giants in the greatest game ever played. Stats alone didn't define Unitas' career or his life. On the field, he was an unparalleled leader. Off the field, he was committed to his family, friends, and community. It was a combination of all these values that he wanted to reward when in 1987, along with his college coach, he established the Johnny Unitas Golden Arm Award. My dad would be very proud of the, of the stable of, of uh, winners that uh, have, have won this award. I, I know he was when, when he was alive, and um, he was very proud of those guys. Uh, and they put, put the effort forth, and, and they deserved it. So um, my father was a believer in team. The football is the greatest team sport ever, you know. And every one of these players that have won it since my, my father's passing has said the same thing. It's a team sport, and it's just not an individual award. But it can't be any greater to win an award named after Johnny Unitas, and I'm, I'm real proud of that. You know, really, for us, the most rewarding aspect of the relationship with Unitas is just getting to know the man, John Unitas Sr. Uh, before he passed away, we had a great relationship. He represented our company in such a special way. Uh, he stands for integrity, hard work, perseverance, you know, so many of the qualities that John had, we aspire to uh, as an organization. So maybe as much as anything, getting to meet the legend, I'm a sports fan myself, uh, getting to meet him uh, at a deeper level than, uh, than I would have obviously as a fan, as a, as a, as a longtime fan. So uh, clearly the most uh, uh, special thing for us was just getting to know the man. Uh, and then of course, John Jr., his son, uh, his grandkids. Uh, we've had a special relationship as a corporation that is, that is uh, rare. Uh, with, a, with an athlete or a, a spokesperson like that. So having that relationship first, I think is really special and unique. I never heard him say anything negative about anyone. And my husband was the same way. They always wanted to sign every autograph, be nice to all the children, be personable to the fans. And that was something special from that era that I love it when I see it carry over today, but you don't see it as much. He led by example, and in my opinion, that's the greatest form of leadership, is by example. And you could see if you stood on the sidelines and watched the offense when you were there, and how they were functioning and how he was directing them, you could just see it, feel it, know it. And so when you have a person doing that or performing that leadership through his example, it's uh, it's, it's tough to beat. Yeah, I think most people you knew how genuine my dad was. Um, and, and just to hear them say that, you know, he was just the nicest man ever. He would never refuse an autograph. As a matter of fact, you know, when I had a sick brother or sister in the hospital, he would go visit me, you know. So things of that makes, that, that, that makes me very proud to know that my, my father was a real person in addition to being the greatest quarterback ever. So um, I, I'm happy. To, I'm, I'm happy when people remember. I really am now, you know, because I'm, I'll be 54 and, and uh, you know, my dad, you know, unfortunately, died too early, you know. He still had a lot to give, uh, but, but he did give back. His, his whole thing was giving back. You know, uh, I like to think that uh, in the heyday of the Baltimore Colts when Johnny Unitas was leading them to uh, more victories than any other team um, in the NFL achieved over the span of his career from 1957 when he, when he became a starter until the time that he left here, nobody else won more games. So Unitas and his Colts, um, were almost like religion here in Baltimore. They were, they were really bigger than life. They, they were the center of our community on so many different levels. A lot of people say that, that uh, Unitas really represented the heart and soul of, of this community. And, and I think the reason for that is that we identified with John's uh, blue collar approach to the game. You know, he was a working man, no-nonsense kind of guy. And, and that's how Baltimore was back in the 50s when John came along and all the way up through his time here, uh, his glory days in the 60s until he left after the, uh, the 72 seasons.